just never grow An old news song, an old man being interviewed, turning a hundred and two today. They asked him what's the secret to life. He looked up from his old pie, laughed and said, All that, all I can say is, Don't wait, just like that, you're six years old. Take a nap and you wake up and you're 25 and you're
Good evening and welcome to the commencement ceremony of the 40th graduating class of Fairborn High School. I am Hayden Piccarello, Assistant Treasurer of the Fairborn High School class of 2023. Please stand for the presentation of the colors by the Fairborn High School Junior ROTC and the National Anthem. Please be seated. I would like to introduce those sitting on the stage this evening. Please hold your applause until all are introduced. The Fairborn City Schools Board of Education. Superintendent, Fairborn City Schools, Mr. Gene Lawley. Supervisor of Student Affairs, Greene County Career Center, Nathan Opica. Fairborn High School Administration. Valedictorian, Riley Hensley. Salutatorian, Emily Baumgartner. Speaker, Megan Thompson. Class Officers, President, Jasmine Diaz. Vice President, Miley Smith. Secretary, Jade Dodd. Treasurer, Hayden Barnett. Historian, Aaron Reichert. Historian, Katie Ann Munger. Jessica Cleves, President of the Class of 2024. I would like all graduates who are joining the military, either through enlistment or ROTC, to please stand. Thank you for your service. You may be seated. The commencement welcome will be given by Megan Thompson. Good evening, graduates, staff, family, and friends. I am thrilled to welcome you all to the 40th commencement ceremony of Fairborn High School. Before I begin, I would like to give a special thank you to everyone attending tonight's event. It is an incredible feeling to be gathered here as a class tonight, and your continuous support for us is greatly appreciated. For many of us, Graduation is a day we have been looking forward to for a long time. For others, it is an end to a dreadful case of senioritis. However, I think we can all agree that this day will always hold a special place in our hearts. As a class, we have gone through so much together to get to this point. 
These last few years have not been easy. We have all had to face unique challenges, whether as individuals or as a class. We may have never felt prepared for them to impact our lives, but through it all, we have shown great resilience in our efforts to overcome these hardships. Yes, we may eventually all go our separate ways, but our experiences at Fairborn High School will remain a part of us forever. Today marks the beginning of a new chapter in our lives. We may not know where our futures lie beyond this point, but I am sure of this. We are stronger than we were four years ago, and we are more than capable of overcoming whatever life throws our way. We should all be extremely proud of our accomplishments, especially this one tonight. So have fun and enjoy this moment. Congratulations, class of 2023, and welcome to our graduation. I'm Hayden Barnett, treasurer of the class of 2023. As the senior members of the Fairborn High School Orchestra prepare to perform the Odyssey, please enjoy this video presentation.
fire. As we go, as we, we remember all the times we spent together. As our lives change from whatever, we will still be. Good evening. I am Erin Reichert, historian of the class of 2023. I would like to introduce Emily Baumgartner, who will give the salutatorian address. I would like to start by thanking the teachers, families, friends, and of course, my fellow graduates for coming to celebrate the class of 2023 on this very special day. This is the day that we have all been waiting for since August 2019, when we all walked into the building for the first time as terrified freshmen. Just as we thought we were going to survive freshman year, COVID hit. The very beginning of the pandemic, we spent our time sleeping in, doing our work at whatever hour we wanted to, tanning outside, and still spending time with our friends and families. Before we knew it, we were on a nationwide lockdown and found ourselves having to wake up early to join our Zoom meetings and raise our hands virtually in order to answer a question. Eventually, we got to return to school, but still had to wear face masks. I am sure all of us were just wondering when it was going to end and we would return back to normal. Since then, we have counted down the days until our next sports game, music competition, spirit week, homecoming dance, or last day of school, until we realized that it was our last. A very important person once said, how lucky am I to have something that makes saying goodbye so hard? Of course, this was spoken by the one and only Winnie the Pooh. He does make a great point. If you are sitting there right now with a feeling of sadness for having to move on and leave some things behind, that means you did it right. Whether that is the friendships that you have made, teachers that have mentored you, teammates and coaches that have encouraged and supported you while playing your favorite sports, or simply just the classes you have taken. You were supposed to be upset to leave behind all of these people and memories. However, it is a step that everyone must take in order to venture out and move along with our next journeys. As you continue on with whatever path you decide to take, I want you to remember two things. The first is to stay true to who you are. Do not change yourself for anyone else and keep doing what you do best. If someone wants to take the time out of their day to make you feel judged or different because of who you are, do not be bothered. Your opinion of yourself is the only one that matters. The second thing I want you all to keep with you as you journey through these next few years is to live in the moment. I find people, including myself, worrying so much about the past and over anticipating the future too much. One of my favorite quotes is, don't count the days, make the days count. I think this is very important to learn and understand because it teaches us how to be present in the moment. Of course, you are allowed to be excited about an upcoming event, but now is what truly matters. Now is often overlooked because individuals forget to focus on the moments while they are happening. However, now is the first and last time that we will all get to celebrate and walk across the stage to receive our high school diploma. I want you to take all of this in, not just now, but in your future as well. Those of you who find yourself in an endless cycle of doing the same thing over and over again and are just waiting for the next exciting moment to happen, I want you to change that. Go out and meet new people, try new things, find a different place to hang out, anything. Just make sure that if you're not enjoying the now, make it enjoyable. You have the power to do that. It is your life. Tomorrow and the day after that is not always guaranteed. So stop taking the now moments for granted and start appreciating them just a little bit more. I'm incredibly grateful and honored to have been given the chance to stand up here and speak in front of you all this evening. I know you are all eagerly waiting to grab your diploma and run out of here. So the last thing I want to say to you all is congratulations, class of 2023. I am Jade Dodd, Secretary of the Class of 2023. 
as the senior band members prepare to play their last piece as members of the Fairborn High School Symphonic Winds, please enjoy this video presentation.
ones that we got Cheers to the wish you were here But you're not Cause the drinks bring back All the memories Of everything we've been through Toast to the ones here today Toast to the ones that we lost on the way Cause the drinks bring back All the memories And the memories bring back Memories bring back your There's a time that I remember When I did not know no pain When I believed in forever And everything would stay the same Now my heart feel like December When somebody say your name Cause I can't reach out to call you But I know I will one day yeah. Everybody hurts sometimes Everybody hurts someday yeah, yeah. But everything gon' be, be alright No one raise a glass and say yeah. Here's to the ones that we got Cheers to the wish you were here But you're not cause the dreams bring back all the memories Good evening. I am Miley Smith, Vice President of the Class of 2023. I would like to introduce our valedictorian, Riley Hensley, who will give the valedictory address. Hello, I wanna thank you all for being here. This is a great honor that I have been given and I couldn't have done it without the many influential people in my life. The funny thing about this honor is that it is hard to place four years into a few minutes, even though the years have absolutely flown by. I've noticed that there are some things that I have just kept holding on to. I've held on to all the time spent with friends, from cheering and watching a football or basketball game from the student section to the moments spent having conversations with peers and teachers. I remember celebrating each birthday and sharing all of the different snacks and meals together to all the laughs that it could erupt in a second's notice, spending time stressing over homework and how it could affect me being in this position. I've dreamed of being valedictorian and after all the adrenaline died down, I was left feeling all that stress and looking back to all those things and all those memories that have filled my life for the past few years. Like most people, I have also held on to the paths in the midst of all the changes. We all have things we have left behind but these are the things that formed us to who we are now. Starting back in 2010, the year that most of us started kindergarten, silly bands took the world by storm, and so did smartphones. In 2011, Adele rose to fame, and we rose to first grade. By 2012, we were all playing subway surfers after school in second grade. When we were in third and fourth grade, my favorite movie of all time, Frozen, came out, and everyone's Frozen obsession formed, as did mine. In 2015, the Whip and Nene took everywhere by storm, including Fairborn Intermediate's fifth graders. By 2016, Hamilton was stuck in everyone's sixth grade head, and in 2017, it was replaced by Despacito, causing all seventh graders to suddenly know Spanish. The next year, we were crushed by Avengers Infinity War, and Visco girls were in each eighth grade class. The start of our high school careers in 2019, our heartaches were satisfied with Avengers Endgame and Baby Yoda. As we all know, 2020 would be rough, but luckily, TikTok would be there to carry us through to our sophomore year. By our junior year, we all loved being the imposter in Among Us, and in 2022, we fell in love with Harry Styles, Taylor Swift, and the Corn Kid. But in holding on to all these things, I've realized that while the past is beneficial, there are things to look ahead to, which reminds me of a quote from C.S. Lewis. There are far, far better things ahead than any we leave behind. We can look forward to all the new memories, meeting new friends, and to all the first we will encounter, from the first day of college or the moment that we start our first job, to the moment when we meet the one for the first time, putting our first child or even grandchild, and to all the other firsts you will experience in your life. And while it is okay to keep holding on to the past with the understanding that it has formed you to be who you are now, look to the future and all the first. We are only just beginning. Our lives are before us. Now we just have to take the next step. Congratulations, class of 2023. To perform our class song, I'll Always Remember You, please welcome seniors Miley Smith, Isabella Hayes, and Corey Vickers.
always knew after all these years there'd be laughter there'd be tears but never thought that i'd walk away with so much joy but so much pain and it's so hard to say goodbye but yesterday's gone we gotta keep moving on i'm so thankful for the moments so glad i got to know ya the times that we had we'll keep like a photograph and hold you in my heart forever i'll always remember you Another chapter in the book Can't go back but you can look And there we are on every page Memories I'll always say Up ahead on the open doors Who knows what we're heading towards I wish you love, I wish you luck For you the world just opens up But it's so hard to say goodbye Yesterday's gone, we gotta keep moving on I'm so thankful for the moments So glad I got to know ya The times that we had We'll keep like a photograph And hold you in my heart forever I'll always remember you Every day that we had all the good, all the bad, I'll keep them here inside. All the times that we shared, every place, everywhere. You touched my life. Yeah, one day we'll look back, we'll smile and we'll laugh. But right now we just cry. Cause it's so hard to say goodbye. Yesterday's gone, we gotta keep moving on. I'm so thankful for the moments. So glad I got to know ya. The times that we had, we'll keep like a photograph and hold you in my heart forever. I'll always remember you. Although I am Katie Ann Munger, historian of the class of 2023. It is my pleasure to introduce to you the president of the class of 2023, Jasmine Diaz. Good evening, family, friends, and faculty, and last but not least, my graduating class 2023. I would like to thank you all for giving me the opportunity tonight to represent our class the past year at Fairborn High School. Having the opportunity as senior class president has truly been the highlight of my experience in high school, especially having the chance to connect with so many of you. Today is a day to celebrate all the hard work and everything we have accomplished over the years. This journey had its ups and downs, but we all stick together like the family that we are. I would like to highlight our time together throughout the years as Skyhawks. For many of us, it started at Fairborn Primary School. We all remember our first day not wanting to let our parents' hands go as we walked up to seemed a never-ending hallway that led us to our very first Fairborn classroom. That was only the beginning of our Skyhawk journey. Our next step was into the intermediate school which is when we had to face our biggest worries like 
I have 10 seconds left to finish the times table competition. And that reading log is due tomorrow and I have not yet written my hours. Before we knew it, we were walking through the breezeway into our very first Baker Middle School class. Those crazy middle school years were when we started making our mark on Fairborn. Many of us became web leaders, joined clubs and teams, and began to take on an important role, leadership. We made endless memories over the years at Baker, field trips, the talent shows, and the class trip to Washington, D.C. Before long, we found ourselves walking into the great unknown of Fairborn High School. Thanks to Freshman Focus Camp, the upperclassmen welcomed us to the nest showed us the path where we truly belong and helped us find the courage to simply be who we are. We joined together at Unity Day and of course, showed off our Skyhawk pride during Spirit Week. The spring of freshman year and the beginning of sophomore year, the COVID pandemic took hold and Google Meets became our new normal. Throughout it all, we stuck together more than ever as we learned difficult life lessons. By our junior year, we were all back in the school building. Walking through the halls with masks and having to be six feet apart was hard enough. Boot always made the best of it to ensure a successful year. Finally, it's our senior year. Only eight months ago, we thought today would never come. We were determined to make this year the most memorable and unforgettable year yet. Our back to school senior pool party welcoming the Powder Puff game and our final homecoming dance started our year off great. We, woke, we joined clubs and attended sporting events. Our family bond grew stronger as we took our senior trip to New York City. Prom and the first spring unity day led us to our final walk of high school. And then the senior week. The senior faculty breakfast and games as well as a parking lot takeover led us to our final walk through the halls of Fairborn High School. There are no words to express how proud I am to be a part of the class of 2023 and be called a Skyhawk. Together we have accomplished challenges that we never imagined we could conquer. For every backward step we took, we learned to take two steps forward. We have shared many firsts and many lasts together. Now it's time for us to move into our new chapter of our lives. I would like to remind you of a few things. First, always believe in yourself and everything you put your mind to. You have the power in your hands. Make your dreams a reality. Secondly, never give up. Times will get hard and it may seem impossible to get through, but remember you have a family, a class to lean on. Finally, always strive to be the best version of yourself. Life is an endless journey. Follow your passions. Congratulations, class of 2023, and I can't wait to see what the future holds for us. It is now time to pass the torch of Fairborn High School to the new senior class president, Jessica Cleves. She and her officers will now have the responsibility to guide the class of 2024 throughout their last year of Fairborn High School as leaders of the school. We, the class of 2023, now challenge you, the class of 2024, to continue the traditions of Fairburn High School. The responsibility to lead is now yours. Good evening, graduates. It is an honor to be a part of such a special night in your lives. I am filled with gratitude to represent the class of 2024 
as the incoming president and to accept the challenge of the class of 2023 at Fairborn High School. The class of 2024 will strive to lead the Skyhawks you once directed, and we will build on the foundation you have established. Not only have you embodied and taught us what true school spirit is, but you've shown us how to be a proud Fairborn Skyhawk, someone who epitomizes the desire for independence and success as they walk confidently yet humbly throughout the halls. You guided us from the beginning. Through an atypical freshman and sophomore year, you led us to be the juniors we are now. You have accomplished and sacrificed a great deal to get to where you are today and will be leaving a memorable legacy at Fairborn High School. Now it is time to create a legacy in the world. On behalf of the class of 2024, I would like to thank you for your diligence and devotion and to wish you a prosperous journey as you begin this new chapter of your lives. We would like to leave you this quote from former Brazilian soccer player Pele. Success is no accident. It is hard work, perseverance, learning, studying, sacrifice, and most of all, love of what you are doing or learning to do. Wherever life takes you from here, I hope you find that love in what you are doing. Class of 2023, we wish you the best. Congratulations. It is my honor to introduce Mr. Gene Lawley, Superintendent of Fairborn City Schools, who will address the graduates. Good evening. It is with great pride and honor that I speak to the Fairborn High School class of 2023. Tonight, we celebrate your accomplishments and the culmination of 12 years of education. As you celebrate tonight with your family and friends, we celebrate with you. Each individual staff member who has interacted with you on your journey has had an impact on your life. From teachers, administrators, coaches, and advisors, you have developed relationships that have taught you about what you will need to move forward after graduation. Remember the people who have walked with you on this journey. From each individual, you have learned and grown in your ability to handle situations which will help you moving forward. Always remember that each of us has different interests and aspirations. My hope for you is that you have grown to understand that each of you will travel your own individual path that is meant for you based on what you want to do. Remember that work ethic and a commitment to showing up in all you do will be very important moving forward in any field or career. I know that you all have the strength of character and fortitude to do this. The unique qualities that you have brought to Fairborn City Schools will serve you well into the future. I am grateful to be the superintendent of Fairborn City Schools. I honor each of you here tonight, and I celebrate your achievements with the community, staff, families, and friends. Best wishes as you continue with your next steps, and always remember, Fairborn is home. Congratulations and have a great life. It is my pleasure to introduce Mr. Waylon Stiegel, principal of Fairborn High School, who will give his address and present the class for graduation. Good evening, parents, guardians, extended family members, staff, and the class of 2023. Tonight, we've gathered after a long journey, a journey that started with you entering the early years of preschool and kindergarten, a journey that has taken you through the challenging times of COVID, the rigors of curriculum, 
gaining friends, losing friends, and has brought us all here tonight for this special event. You've done it. When you look back on all those challenging times, I hope you see the everlasting perseverance you've displayed. Tonight, you've earned something no one can ever take away. Your hard work and dedication ensuring you made it here tonight will lead you right on the path you've chosen. Whether that path be into the workforce, college, or serving our country, you are ready to take on anything you set your mind to. Tonight concludes your time as a Fairborn High School student. Although you will not walk these halls again proceeding from class to class, you will always be part of this special family, a Fairborn High School alum. You are now part of a network of alumni that spans generations and reaches heights beyond imagination. As you embark on your next stages of life, I hope you find success in everything you do. Failure may come, but remember that failure is the true opportunity to learn from and grow. Stay the course. Continue to use your imagination to dream and follow your heart to fulfill those dreams. In the words of Albert Einstein, imagination is everything. It is the preview to life's coming attraction. In closing, I would like to thank each and every one of you for allowing me and all of your teachers the opportunity to walk this journey with you. We are so proud of all of your accomplishments. To the family members in attendance and those watching, thank you. Thank you for having the faith in us to walk this journey with your child and blaze new paths that will lead to new and prosperous beginnings. Students, may the wind always be at your back, the sun warm upon your face, the stars illuminate your nights, and may the road always rise to meet you. Members of the Board of Education and Mr. Gene Lolly, Superintendent, I certify that the members of the class of 2023 have met all the requirements set forth by the State of Ohio and the Fairborn Board of Education. I now present them for graduation. Emily Noel Baumgartner, Diploma with Honors. Riley Ann Hensley, Diploma with Honors. Jasmine, Jasmine Valentina Diaz. Michelle, or Miley Michelle Lorraine Smith. Doing great. Jade Lynn Dodd, Diploma with Honors. Hayden Ryder Barnett. Diploma with Honors. Hayden Daniel Piccarello, Diploma with Honors. Erin Nicole Reichert, Diploma with Honors. Great job. Cadence Ann Munger, Diploma with Honors. Megan Thompson, Diploma with Honors. Huntington Adkinson. Michael Wayne Keaton. Sierra Renee Albrahi. <laughs> Parker Joshua Keaton. Michael Christopher Albright, Diploma with Honors. Aaron Lee Kemp. Kalia Ari Carolee Allison. Caleb Edward Kenahan, Diploma with Honors. Cadence Aria Pemberlin, Allison. Jeffrey Lee Ketring.
Kenneth Norman Alvarez. Zygma William Kausmowski IV. Caleb Robert Anderson, Diploma with Honors. Alexander Enrique Labrador. Trevor Jamison Anderson, Diploma with Honors. Caitlin Ann LaFountain. Eltoff Anwari. Damon Lee Langdon. Sozen Anwari. Samantha Jo LaPrairie. Jemiah Atiano Aputo. Faith Ella Rose Ledbetter. Tanisha De Jesus Arline. Siobhan Denise Lewis. Miriam Askar. Jayana Shanice Lewis. Zaria Marie Oxier. Catherine Ann Linder. Caitlin Nicole Baird. Blake Andrew Little. Juliana Sue Barron. Kalea Renee Lively. Audrey Marie Beasley. Hannah Rose Long. Ashton Scott Beatty. Corbin Alexander Long. Riley Ann Belvo. Alec Logan Luttrell. Raina Lynn Berry. Skyler Madison McLean. Noah Skyler Boise. Alec Massey. Anthony Nathaniel Booker. Anthony Scott Mattern. Nizira Ravon Branigan. Kaylin Duane McCoy Bush. Trevor Brantley. Yep. So as soon as I say her name, she'll move. Piper Allison McGrew. Anthony Dagan Brower. Samuel Cole McMillan. Robert David Bray. Mackenzie Nicole Melison. Sophia Ellen Bridges. Haley Marie Miller, Diploma with Honors. Jenna DeLong Briggs. Brooklyn, Brooklyn Kylie Mitten. Jaden James Bright. Alicia Grace Malad, Diploma with Honors. Evan John Bundeson, Diploma with Honors. Cheyenne Sue Ellen Montgomery. Caitlin Nicole Burkhead. Jasmine Alize Moten. Stephanie Gail Carey. Reese Audrey Mullins. Mackenzie Nicole Cartwright. Callie Renee Munoz. Cole 
Douglas Chapman. Leland Cole Murphy. Amari Cherry. Owen Eugene Myers. Aiden Daniel Christie. Benjamin Xavier Neff. Lesliana Joyce Crum. Dominique Leanne Neff. Haley Beth Coker. Kaylin Nicole Ofo. Jerica Daviana Coax. Carson Scott Osborne. Jeremiah Roy Collins. Lillian Dixie Osborne. Lydia Lynn Collins, Diploma with Honors. Lydia Carol Pace, Diploma with Honors. Haley Joe Combs. Bryce Michael Parks. Noah Allen Combs. Alexandra Calista Peace. Andrew Guy Copeland. Katie Allison Pellegrini. Marina Nicole Corbett. Caleb Andrew Charles Peterson. Lauren Michael Cox. Cameron Allen Edward Peterson. Faith Nicole Craig. Taylor Marie Phillips. Christopher Cruz. Connor Thompson Picarello. Javier Antonio Cruz. Rashawn Ramari Redman. Sarah Catherine Cunningham, Diploma with Honors. Anaya Danae Reed. Darius Montrell Davis. David Michael Richardson. Devin Braden Davis. Mackenzie Renee Richardson. Tyre James Davis. Elise Shannon Rose Riggs. Umat Devershav. Madison Renee Riley. Brooklyn Kelly DeWitt, Diploma with Honors. Brassley Robert Ritchie. Austin Dillon. Jackson Ryder Rushi. Zachary Daniel Diddy. Charles Isaac Rout. Riley Michael Druckenbrod. Noah Dale Runyon. Lance Lamont Dungeon. Papa Bara Samb. Wayne Robert Dunn. Maddie Christine Sandrock. Bryce Adam Duvall. 
Layla Shakmemadova. Grayson Lynn Earl. Garrett Ernest Shuttleworth. Brittany Jean Eddy. Ethan Lee Smith. Miana Anissa Edwards. Faith Elizabeth Smith, Diploma with Honors. Samantha Lauren Eichmann. Jaden Rashad Smith. Jackson Douglas Arrett. <laughs> Sean Christian Smith. Kendall Isabella Fall. Connor Lee Snell. Jamil Maurice Farrar Jr. Ethan Riley Sorrells, Diploma with Honors. Emily Ray Fosnot. Harold Lee Speakman. Travis Ian Behan. Nathan Todd Speakman. Sincere Eugene Ferguson. Jadel Marcel Stalls. Mallory Lee Ferguson. Michaela Grace Stambo. Ashton Hunter Fisher. Dylan Michael Stevenson. Cal Fleming, Diploma with Honors. Alexander Lee Stepp. Jacob Allen Fletcher. Michaela Marie Stewart. Mara Ann Fletcher. David William Stidham. Braden Charles Frouchy. Dawson Jack Stidham. Andrew Timothy Fry. Olivia Davina Stidham. Kelsey Maria Fugate, Diploma with Honors. Austin Michael Stump. Ashley Garcia Fabre, Diploma with Honors. Alexis Dawn Sturgill. Peter Brandon James Gurkey. Dakota James Sweeten. Gabriel Gill. Lydia K. Zeri. Dominic Amir Graham. Lauren Gray Thomas. Joshua Aaron Griffith. Peyton Thompson, Diploma with Honors. Brianna Denise Grooms. <laughs> Kaylee Savannah Toller. Logan Ace Gould, Diploma with Honors. CJ Toppings. Tristan Brian Gooley, Diploma with Honors. Claire Alexis Torres, Diploma with Honors. Aubrey Liv Gundaker. Ethan Michael Towsley. Vincent Gabriel Hammond.
Mary Sayiri Suchiyama. <laughs> Chloe Frene Harris. Rain Taylor Turntine. <laughs> Isabella Dagmar Hayes. Carmony Francis Van Pelt. Nicholas Wayne Hedger. Jordan Davis Van Cleve. Chance William Henry. Corey Daniela Vickers. Faith Ann Hicks. Daniel Patrick Vilsack. Logan Jerome Hildebrecht. Bailey Jolene Walters, Diploma with Honors. Bethany Elizabeth Hill, Diploma with Honors. Elijah Dalen Ward. Billy Ray Hill. Michael Harmon Wardle, Diploma with Honors. Janet Lynn Horner. Cadence Leanne Warner. Ryan Michael Hoffman, Diploma with Honors. Katie Marie Weekly, Diploma with Honors. Ashton Russell Lee Hopkins. Amir Saeed Weeks, Diploma with Honors. Peyton Lee Horton. Lola Francis Wells. Trenton David Hoskins. Dylan Michael Wetzig. Scott William Hauser. Jaden Anthony Witt. Jacob Christopher Hughes. Dylan Allen Wickstrom. Madison Grace Hunter. Caitlin Aaron Wilkerson. Nasir Khalid Jabir. Austin Cole Williams. Kern Anthony Jackson. Brandon Matthew Williams. Karen Elizabeth Jenkins. Lauren Diego Williams. Blessing Tiana Lene Jones. Jace Lee Wilson. Connor Ellis Johnson. Morgan Joanne Woods. Dominique Christopher Johnson. Tate. Hunter Young. Jordan Steven Johnson. Mackenzie Jane Johnson Lacey.
An alma mater refers to both the school from which we graduate and to the school's official song. Will everyone please stand and join the seniors from the acapella choir in singing the Fairborn High School alma mater. You can find the lyrics on the back of your program. Tonight, we have a very special presentation. Would Miss Amy Whitehill please come to the stage? Miss Whitehill has been a music teacher at Fairborn High School for 30 years. Throughout these years, she has helped the senior classes behind the scenes. She has provided musical accompaniment for the senior top scholar dinners. Miss Whitehill has rehearsed the performers for numer numerous baccalaureates and commencement ceremonies and has volunteered to play the piano at baccalaureate for a number of years. When COVID hit and the high school building was shut down, Ms. Whitehill helped transport, transport all the senior trip bags and the boxes of cap and gowns to Missing's home to make sure they could be delivered to seniors even if the school remained closed. Ms. Whitehill also helps to make sure the senior trip to New York City is possible by volunteering each year to serve as a chaperone. For her love and dedication to our senior class and those that came before us, the class of 2023 would like to present 
Miss Whitehill with this token of appreciation. You may be seated. We have almost reached the end of our formal education at Fairborn City Schools. It is my pleasure to introduce Hayden Barnett, who will give the farewell address. For some, this moment is one that will be a major turning point in your lives. For others, you have had senioritis since you were a freshman. Either way, we have all made it. Although this will most likely be the last moment in our lives that we are all together as a class, we will always remember all the memories we made together, whether it be through sports, prom, homecoming, senior week, or the classroom. Although you may not know it, these memories are what have made you into the person you are today. Cherish them and never forget them. Alongside this, understand that this moment marks only the beginning of the long journey we call life. The lessons we learned here are only the beginning of the textbook of lessons we will learn throughout life, both through success and failure. On behalf of the class of 2023, I would like to thank first the Board of Education, principals, and staff for making our school and community a better place. Secondly, I would like to thank our families for without your guidance and willingness to sacrifice your needs for ours, we would not have made even the first step in getting this far. And finally, to my classmates, as cynical as it may sound, my challenge to you is this. Do not allow high school to be the best part of your life. Take what you've learned, both the good and the bad, and use it to create your best life. Congratulations and farewell, class of 2023. Before we end this commencement ceremony, the class of 2023 would like to recognize and thank the teachers and staff of Fairborn High School. You guided us through high school from freshman focus to our senior year, helping us become the young adults we are today. As the senior choir members make their way to perform the Old Irish Blessing, please enjoy this video presentation. Thank you. 
our family and friends. As we end our commencement ceremony, please remain seated until all seniors have exited the floor. At that time, we ask you to exit the arena and meet up with your graduate outside. We will pick, our pick up our diplomas and join you outside for pictures. I would like to present for the final time, Jasmine Diaz, president of the class of 2023. Class of 2023, will you please rise? <laughs> we have worked hard for this moment, even, even before we knew the significance of this tradition. The time has now come for us to transition from one journey to the next. Let's do one more thing together. You may now turn your tassel from the right to the left. Congratulations, graduates.